Hey folks, welcome back. So this morning, uh, we're doing a couple more, um, continuing the path to upgrades on this uh, blood altar here. And I've actually increased an upgrade factor on here. What I did is what happens when the life ensigns on pool fills up, you'll see like right now we're capped at a million again. The blood altar actually starts to fill up with life essence. And I'm, I'm beginning to drain that. And send that directly over to our... Uh, to a storage tank for future use. And you'll see it's gaining, you know, ever so slowly. But I'm okay with that. We want to be able to force this network to... Or, you know, store enough excess. So if we get a... Whoa! How did you get loose, dude? We want to be able to store enough excess so that we're able to um, do any big kind of rituals later on. And that's why I'm putting all the excess runes in here too. So when um, we need to do something that costs a million life points or whatever, we, we can build that straight away. How are these guys dropping? Are we missing like blocks here or something? Oh, we are. Come on. That's annoying. Somehow I lost some clear glass overnight. Looks like I'm going to need to regen here too, just momentarily. And put an end to that shenanigans. Don't know when that happened, but it did. Or maybe I never had stuff there. I swore I did though. Unless at some point one of them tried to shoot me and it blew up. Yeah, that's right, stay in there. Huh. Okay, back to safety. Anyway, that way if we need to do, like when we get to our Master Blood Orb or something, or if we need Life Essence, we'll have um, an excess pool. And it'll give me the ability each morning when I log in, I do a few more of these imbued slates just to finish our runes augmented, augmented capacity. Looks like we only need two more, but, you know, it takes a fair amount of time, so now we got some backup storage. Anyway, what I wanted to work on today was continuing down the path of bees here. You can see our trees did a lot of uh, breeding thanks to our bees overnight or mutating. And we'll go and collect all that in a while. Let's get our thing back on here so we don't get stung and take a look. So yesterday we left off waiting for uh, charm, let's see, supernatural, I think it was. Which was charmed and enchanted. We had gotten that, and then I started breeding them somewhere. We just need to remember where here. So here's our supernatural stock. It looks like we got plenty of extra. So now we gotta go back to soulful bee here. Soul wax and spirit bees which are ethereal plus aware, arcane plus supernatural. So we got every, we got all the fixings here for the for a good thing. Let's see here, supernatural. And take that set of bees. 
And with our advanced mutator, I should be able to get exactly the B I want, which is ethereal. And then, spirit drones are ethereal plus aware. Do I have aware? I do not. So we still need to figure out how to get aware bees. Is ethereal plus attuned. And this is where we got to make some artificial hives, I do believe. I just don't quite know where we need to get them from. And while we're waiting, let's uh, mutate this one for a second to make sure we get plenty of offspring in a hurry. Sorry guys, I'm also looking offline or looking on the interwebs trying to figure out where we get a deep hive if there's a particular spot. So we need to found, find a mountain biome. So let's get uh, an angel block. We want a warp page. I need some wheat. Hopefully we got some here. Artificial hives. Oh, we got our three. I'm going to get about uh, a stack of these. I need some cans of seed oil. Uh, 32, that'll give me two stacks. Why isn't it? We're still crafting silicon, by the way. Oh, we got one sixteen million ready. While we're waiting on things, let's go turn that in, or or empty out this network a bit more. Okay, so I want to take this guy off. I want to do it. Oh, look, we got two more empty ones. And what this will do is condense this whole th setup down to a handful of drives. We'll put all of that back through. Uh, move the output when full. Nope. So there we go. Let's take a stack of these and get them converted down. We'll be able to craft another one then. So now we want to move the output with empty. And all of these drives will empty out given time. And this will make for a very clean setup with um, storing bees. It'll condense the process down. We'll just have to be aware that we need to keep plenty of 16 million drives on hand. And 
And then we'll push this down. We can get rid of the clear glass. And let's do this. I'll put that up there. That can go away. That. Sure. Sure. We need to keep all of that on hand. Divisionation sigil is good for now. And let's go ahead and request another 16 million while we're waiting. And it looks like we can hold the. Uh, a little more room in here. We might even be able to complete one in fairly short order. Nope, that's it for room. So this will also cause a uh, slight backlog in our main AE system. But remember, it will export given time. Let's go back over to here. And I'm going to want to use this barrel down here. Give me a... Whoa! We're missing Certus Quartz, really? Holy cow! Ah... Uh, that's kind of a problem. Let's go ahead and send this over to the system. And I don't have a recipe for this, but I can send it back. Uh, we can use our pulverizers to get us Certus Quartz, I do believe. Let me just double, oh, and look at this. Uh, what do we do with this? If we squeeze it, do we get, hey, we do. Let's make sure we're doing that all the time. Then. So I also have, a, if you guys haven't noticed, I have an explicit export bus on the back here to pump out certain types of comb to process because we are slowly overloading the system. So that'll be a source to build this back up. We were very low, I guess. So if you give me... Uh, pulverize is one to one, okay. Guess we're gonna need some more juice. So pulverizers are the close one. Let's go over to here. Oh, we'll just put that into play. That's another way for you to get Certus Quartz if we need it in a pinch. I can't believe we had hundreds of thousands of that. <laughs> and this thing should... Why isn't this turned on? Uh, it's from putting dust through a thing. Which one is dust? Sand? Dust? Oh, see, we don't even have a trigger for that no more. Let's go ahead and do this. Service quartz less than a million? Start sending it. We've built up dust for a while on purpose. And that'll refill us. And in fact, I feel like these barrels should be upgraded to the max. Um, wow, we're getting detoured. Java. Structural level 5, we can do 6 is Manilian, and 7 is Enderium. We can do both of those. 
just to get us maxed out all the time. Do I got him in the system ready? Well, I got one Manilia. I need two more. Manilian blocks. There we go. And then we want some Enderium blocks. And then for storage. We'll use that up right away. And just give me a stack of those. I don't know how many more we'll be able to fit in, but we'll do it. One, two, and three, and... Wow, that's a lot more upgrade slots. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, shorten this process up a bit. And then we should be able to make these into a niner. Wow, that's a lot. Let's see, this is two. So this can now hold 600,000. And we can hold infinite amounts of gravel. Wow, 524,000 of an item. 800, wow, that's a lot. I like it. And we have 61 slots to go. Let's go ahead and uh, try and uh, tighten that process up. And there we go. That'll hold a lot more material. For when we run out of stuff, we can process another 500,000. All right, now, so next up we need uh, an export bus, a fluid export. We still need that can of seed oil. I would like a hatchet here. Put it right about there for now. Does this get repair on it? It does. We'll give it a minute. And give me seed oil please. One can worth. This thing I want to export seed oil at the speed of light. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, well we'll do it with a can then. What is going on here? That should have worked. Maybe it's because it was on road or something? I'm actually getting to the point where we're going to change out this road because it's kind of annoying to run on. Liquid, give me one more please. Let's see if we can't just keep this full up. 
so that would be kind of nice for this process. Yeah. It's taken a while for some reason. I do have enough, right? It's like it loses its mind. That's weird. Our, innate, our network isn't blinking. And we do not have lag. We're still at 95 frames. We'll just go ahead and do it with cans and call it a day. I got the resources, so. No, oh, it's the barrel that keeps derping. Look at that. We will try that one more time around the block. And if, the, if it doesn't fill up, we'll reset the barrel. That's like the strangest behavior I've seen. Yet. It's like it thinks the barrel's full, but it's really not. Or maybe it can't fill that much into there. The barrel can't take that much at a time. That's funny. Okay, let's grab our artificial hives. We're going to set up a bunch of these. And I guess we just got to wait for it to fill up every time. But it's faster than uh, me doing it. We'll put this stuff away for now. I guess we could uh, hopper this. Hold on. Give me a chest. Give me a servo. Give me an item. Give me an item duct. And give me a hopper. And that way this will go pretty quick. Can I extract from this side? I don't remember. Servo. Whitelist. Artificial hives. Put a chest here. Rotate it. Turn it on. It might have to go actually from the bottom. Okay, let's uh, rethink our process here and make this less painful. In case we need more, we might as well figure it out for that uh, point in time. So now that's going to go here. And that's about the only place I don't want the barrel, so because I can't reach my tools then. Let's do it here. And we'll put the export thing there. Barrel. There. Hopper will be up on top. So we, I mean, we're never going to need more than a stack or so at a time anyhow. And in fact, now that I'm resetting this even more, let's just take it right to the basement. That way we could leave this set up if we need it again. It's not in our main workshop area. That makes, that makes even more sense to me. Oh, 
Let's see. So we got a thing. We got a line right there that looks like a great spot to do this. We'll just come off this way and add in a bit more. We are chunk loaded here, right? Probably. Okay, so now. Uh, we'll put the barrel like that. I'm sorry. No. We're going to put the barrel over one. Let's get our fluid bus over here. We'll put the barrel here. We'll put a an hopper there. And we can rotate the hopper. We rotate the fluid bus to the right position. And then we can put a chest and an item duct here along with the servo just to collect our results whitelist scented artificial hive no no messing around seed oil and this way we only use make them when we you know need them it's kind of still a bit manual but it should do the trick and Is it doing it? I can't tell. Negative. For some reason, the barrel does not always like to play. So now if I put that into there. There we go. Automated sorry, artificial hives. Artificial. Give me five stacks of them. We won't ever need that many, but that way it'll be ready when we need it. And since we're going to use up a ton of seed oil right here, let's go ahead and get some through our squeezer while we're waiting. So you guys remember, we got a squeezer up here for honey. Honey, honey. Where I can export whatever we need. Let's do some seeds instead for a little while. And that should produce seed oil, given time. And get imported directly back into our system. And I need a jetpack to get out of here. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and get our wand of equal trade. I think I got the that focus on there and give me some what do we got for colored bricks or something here I don't know let's use those colored bricks might be okay just to kind of help out this bottom base a little bit there's our thing so it's not as painful to run down here now. We still are pretty fairly lit up all things considered. I will keep the border though. That's nice to have all that lighting in there. And we got another chest here. When we run out, we run out. We'll wait for another deck order reward. Okay, close enough. And we can charge that at any point. So now, to use a scented artificial hive, what do we need to do with this? Okay, so, uh, 
A tomb bee is in a mountain biome, and it must have flowers. And the mountain must not see the sky, must be near the void. Okay, so we need to make sure we have some flowers and dirt with us. Uh, dirt. And the first place we're going to check is underneath our main, old main base. Put that away for now. Let's go grab some of those. Oh, let's put the hives into here that we just had made up. And that'll give us plenty for the future if we should so need it. Let's put this away. Grab you. Put you to three. And let's go to our TC nodes area and see what kind of biome this is. That it keeps placing me right inside the block. That's kind of funny. Is this a mountain biome? This is actually desert. So we got our angel block, we got dirt. Can I uh, access our system from here? Nope. Uh, let's see. We are going to need to eat some food. Now. I have no idea. Can we tell from our map which way is uh, a particular biome? I guess we're just going to look for it, huh? Mountain biome? Jungle? I would think it's Taiga Hills' as mountain, but... Forest, river... Swampland, Magic Forest, whoops, and we got to watch the jetpack here. If it gets low, we'll teleport back and get a new one. Might behoove us to run along our main road we created here and see if we actually have a mountain biome anywhere. But I think Taiga is synonymous with mountain. I'm not positive though on that. You know, for grins, we'll try it a little bit there. Let's see. So this is Taiga. It must have dirt and flowers. I'm going to try like two or three hives here and see if that does the trick. It can't hurt us anyway. Oh, and it must be near the void. Hold on, so we got to get real low for this then. Anyway. That's an interesting point to note. I don't know what defines near the void, but... That looks pretty near. Near for my tastes, anyway. We're going to have to make sure we torch this up in a hurry. Okay. Do I have some torches on me, pretty please? And I need some, I'm going to need grass seed. So let's go ahead and get some torches down here. A little more dirt for later. We're going to need this guy. We're going to call it Taiga Void. And 
And we'll put that into our warp book. And that'll take us right to there, which is fine. Let's go back to our new base and get some dirt. And grass seed. Uh, you know what? Give me one of them silk touch swords. We got like 500 of them. We'll take a grass block with us. We're gonna need more dirt in the long run. But, we'll take a little to start with. Okay. Let's go ahead and replace this quickly. Just to make sure we build up more for the next time. And then we're gonna need some torches because we're gonna be at void level. Okay, back to Taiga Void. Ooh. And we need to make sure we put a grass block down here with a flower. That way it'll spread. And let's go ahead and do like this. I have no idea how long this process will take, but that's a scented artificial hive. Let's get our thing back here. Should be in our inventory instantly. And we'll put one there. One here, and one here. And maybe we'll get lucky in the meantime. Let's give it the old F Oh, no, we need to put another torch there. Now I think we're lit up enough that it shouldn't bother us again. To the next spot, Batman. Okay, so. <sighs> Mountain biome. I don't know how long these will take. Uh-huh. So it'll turn into either a beehive or it'll revert back. I don't know how long this process takes. And is there actually a thing called a mountain biome somewhere? Forest, swampland, jungle. Let's see. You know what, let's not waste our um, thing here for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and look online to see if someone can point me the right way. And let's get our watering can to spread the grass down here, actually. Quickly. Where's my watering can? Water. Wow, I don't have one, really. Could have swore I did. But, hey, things happen. Might have died with it, don't know. Watering can, empty. There we go. Let's go stand in water. Where do I got water anymore? How's our uh, jetpack doing? Three quarters? Okay. We're fine. Let's go to the workshop. I probably got a pool of water there I can stand it in. Hey, look at that. We got torch problems over here, even. Okay. Uh, yeah, right here. Okay, let's go downtown, Charlie Brown. And... 
spread the grass. Love. I'm going to plant some more flowers like right next to these hives. In hopes that uh, it'll do what we want. Oh, see, now that one's back to artificial already. So that didn't do squat. So it tried pretty quick. Let's put another one down. Our jetpack is off and we'll see what happens. Oh, I probably should have brought a scoop with me too. Uh, new base. And scoop. Yep. Back to the tag avoid. Oh, come on. What happened? Any luck? Oh, it says around Y level 2. What Y level are we at? And we're at 7. I might even have to go lower. See if these actually. Oh no, that's an artificial hive again. Let's turn our magnet on to recollect stuff, just in case. That one's back. I think we're in the wrong spot, Jim. Let's try to go lower. I don't know how far we can go into the void, but it, and maybe this tip is uh, actually misleading. Is this standing on two? Okay, let's try and get our grass down to here quickly. Make a slightly larger platform. We don't need that up there at the moment. Let's see here. Carry that down, please. Sounds good. Come on. Yeah, yep. Oh, it did carry. Look at that. It's vertically. Ha. Huh. Okay. Good enough for me. Do I still have my sword on me? We might as well collect a couple of these. In case we decide to move again. Note to self, bring a shovel next time. Alright, anyway. We're definitely a little lower. And we should probably bring our thing next time. Let's water and can this to get the grass all the way through. We get some flowers planted and things of that nature. Here we go.
So now, if we put, maybe we gotta have like all the flowers and stuff down first. I don't know. Just to kind of sweeten the pot for them. But I kind of thought this might take a, a little bit with the uh, attuned hives. And we'll try a couple more up here while we're waiting. That one still is working. It's magic. Let's see, it says we also might need extreme hills. We'll see what we get here though, we'll give it a couple of minutes. Nope, see that one's back to normal. I'm glad we put together that setup folks, what do you think? So let's, uh, while this is percolating, let's keep going. Do we got enough jetpack to go for a little bit? Yeah. Let's just go and see if we can't find like extreme hills or... I don't know what technically qualifies as a mountain biome. Forest, jungle. I guess we could go all the way out as far as our end place. Swampland, forest, jungle, beach, taiga again, taiga hills. That might be an interesting spot to try. Except I do not have a... So that's not bad. Let's mark this. Uh, turn that off. Turn that off. UA Point Taiga Hills. Just in case. And, you know, I should leave those waypoints on because that's what I was going towards, is the end. We're halfway, so i got to be cognizant of that. When we get out that way, we will warp back, get a new... Oh, Extreme Hills. Okay, that's in one I was looking for. Let's go ahead and warp home, get another jetpack brought up. And how's our orb doing? We're going to take two jetpacks with this so I could charge one if I have to on the fly. There we go. We got plenty of dirt, we got our glass, we got that, we got that. We need some warp pages, would be nice. Give me three of them. So now we're going to go ahead and warp back out to the end dragon area. Because that was nice. And where's that extreme hills? Ocean. So we might need to like make a void level place over here too. Desert Hills. This is really hard to figure out. Extreme Hills. Okay, let's go down here. The void level, it says about Y level 2 on the one set up. Let's go ahead and get our grass blocks ready. My uh, feet position. So when I stand on here, where am I? 
Perfect. Okay, now let's go ahead and get this thing started growing. Now remember, it says it cannot see sky level either. Let's put our grass block down. And we need to make sure we get this lit up straight away. And let's keep our rest of our grass blocks on the side here. We'll plant one high so we remember to reclaim it. And one more that way. Oops. Two out on the whole thing. Kind of a waste of dirt, but hey. Maybe we got it just enough, I don't know. If not, we'll have to go get more. Let's see, on two, on two, on two, yep, short a little bit, but that's okay. So now let's uh, get the watering can over to here, and we'll make sure to try this area out quickly, or set it down before we go get more supplies. get everything kind of grown in nice and beautiful like get some flowers down give the bees a nice cushy home and let's cover them up make a warp page that says extreme hills And put that into our thing. And let's go back to our new base, get some more supplies, along with our wand equal trade again. I think we will use cobblestone or something for this. So you also take note that I've been working pretty hard with our cobble farm here. Building up, we're going to want that to make a nice ender explosion room at some point. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, wow. Well, I guess I'm breaking down one of these guys, whether I want to or not. Okay. Let's go ahead and put some of this away. Compressed cobble looks good. Give me my wand to equal trade. Let's go check out our other biome here. Tiger Void. Whoop. Let's see, we got all artificial hives, no dice. And I think, I, just to make sure, let's scoop them and. Yeah. Not much anything. We will leave that for the fishes. So I have a feeling that's not right if we did it three times and didn't get the single bee. Let's go back to Extreme Hills. And I definitely want to get some cobblestone up on top here. Save me the dirt. <laughs> I have no idea if we need skylight or not on this stuff, so we'll figure it out eventually. This gives us a nice little uh, decorative area. See what we get.
And for grins, what I'm going to do here, folks, is actually leave three of them exposed to the sky. We can afford to make the highs, so that way, in case it's the, those that in particular um, facet will be in good shape. And I will put some grass blocks behind them. Just because. I have a feeling it would lure the bees in. Oh, okay. Make it look real nice and homely for the bees. Come on, attuned bees. Don't make me wait too long. There we go. Well, come on, the last dirt block. We'll get some flowers back here for the bees. Make it look like a nice livable spot. And now we wait. Anybody got some waiting music? Tick tock. Do we need it to be daytime? Well, they haven't reset yet, so that's a good sign, I think. While we're waiting, I suppose we could get some more dirt blocks, or grass blocks made up for posterity. Use up this sword. I wonder if it's a daytime only thing. Okay. No, no action yet. Let's uh, go back home. Well, no, we should just wait it out. Oh, and crash. Very good. Did it try to do something? Yeah, let's go back home just in case. And I'll leave these two blocks here to grow on their lonesome. And check on our um, Certus Quartz uh, issues. So now. The other thing I've been wanting to work on here, folks, is... Getting us a source of just readily available cobble in our system. We don't need all that much, to be quite honest. But enough so when we need a couple stacks, we have it available. And I want to do... Actually, give me two igneous extruders. Two storage buses. That way we'll have a stack of stone as well. Doesn't need to be fast. We need an aqueous. Oh no, I just need a fluid export bus. And we'll need a bucket of water. Let's see, water. Oh, right there. Lovely. Let's go down below here. Down to the basement, Batman. So now if we put down our two igneous extruders here, I can put the storage buses on top so it never really pulls the stuff out. We're going to need some ME cable. Where's our... Who's your watchman thingy? Ah, there it is. So for the cable, yeah, we'll take that much, that's fine. Let's see, oh wait, I should probably do it like so. So 
I can see what's going on with things. Okay, now turn that off. And on this particular one, we want to import lots of water. Keep it filled up. You're going to be on stone, you're going to be on cobble. And I need a bucket of lava times two in each of, or a bucket of lava in each of these. Didn't I? Oh, it needs a, it does need some water to kick off. So let's go ahead and make sure we got that under control. Very quickly. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Should have loaded. Just didn't want to apparently. There we go. Might have to be reset each time, not a big deal. And that way we got plenty of water here. No, store it here. Why are you... Hey. Uh, extract only. I don't quite know why it's pulling everything out. We're, we're not requesting cobble. What? That should not be the case. If I have to, I'll put a barrel back in place here. I just wanted to store the items there. So that way we have access when we need it. We don't need all that much. And why isn't that one outputting? Sewage. No. How is sewage being stored in a barrel? Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. And cobble's going somewhere. I must be cooking it up right away. There we go, okay. Stone. And then I need an export bus in a hurry. There we go. Let's go ahead and get all that back downstairs. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do with that, just break the barrel. Okay, now you only are allowed to store stone there, and cobblestone there. Let's change that background. Oh, and we ran, why did we run out of water? That's why. That's locked into place. Let's go ahead and get a cable into place and tell it to get all of our stone out of the system as fast as we can. And that way it'll refill as we need. Kind of like we had set up back home, but not nearly as uh, complicated. And in fact, we could probably do the cyclic assembler thing here so we got stone brick as we need it. And that'll come in just a little while. 
soon as we export all the stone we can. It's one of those things that's just handy to have around. We might as well let it craft while we don't need it. And we'll have a backlog always. So now, you're also going to be able to output that way. I'm going to need a pattern. Uh, a schematic. Oh, a schematic for a leafy fish sandwich. We don't need that. Let's put the schematic in and say, like so. Check. We'll need a tesseract here. That's our last one, so let's get uh, ten more of them made up. And since we never want to wait for this stuff to fill, we'll have ten frames ready to go. And this one we're just going to say is on main. Nothing. And receiving energy. Check. And that'll make us stone bricks. Now we just need a storage bus down here. Like so. And our main system has access to all this now. And in fact, let's go ahead and uh, export all of that out. Export stacks of that so we're not storing it in the system. And that'll take it all out of our AE system and just keep us with a 64 stacks each on hand. For whatever we need the stuff for when we need it. And it looks like we're done there. Good. All the different types of stuff we need. And if we look at our setup now, cobblestone's growing, we got stone brick in there, and we got stone in there. And then some. And just to make sure we're capped off, I can do uh, compressed cobblestone, so we're not carrying... Oh, wait. Hmm. Oh no, I guess the stone brick we'll have to use up when we use up. That's fine. It'll get there. Should we go back and check on our bees once more? Why not? And our jetpack is looking good. Are we in good mode? Extreme Hills. Nobody home yet. Oh, you know, we might actually have to chunk load this. Uh, spot loader. Extreme Hills. Oh, look at that. We got a deep hive, guys. That's how you do it. Right there. Cover them up and let them rip. They're all going right now. Anyway, I will breed up a couple of these off camera and we will be ready to continue onward. Until next time, thanks for tuning in.